The NOVAC project um, is the third elementary building of the same architectural design, the first being opened in the fall of 2007, the second being opened in the fall of 2008, and now this one will be open in the fall of 2010. We've been very impressed with how Conlin communicates. The uh, bi-weekly construction meeting notes, uh, I can pass them straight on to the Board of Education. We can post them publicly. They're clearly understood. Conlin's also made a concerted effort to be friends with the neighborhood. There have been a lot of noise, a lot of construction, heavy equipment, and so on. And um, even parking around the area sometimes gets tight. And we found that the superintendent for the Conlin project responds to the neighbors, respects the neighbors, and honors that it's their neighborhood. Conlin has done a superb job of communicating with us Considering the um, bi-weekly meetings and all of the things that have to happen on timeline, etc., if there is something else that comes up, they take time to let us know that there might be an issue that we need to make a decision on. They're very clear about anything that involves change orders. They also have been out to visit the two previous schools to match the plans against that construction and let us know if there's a way that they can do something better. We can say nothing but the best about how they've handled the situation. They've gone out of their way to contract with local subcontractors. We understand that they work very well with them, but they don't let down their expectations for timeline or quality of work. We love it. <laughs> uh, it it's very easy going, but it's very clear that the superintendent has extremely high expectations for the timeline and for the performance and for the quality of the work and he is willing to stop and make things happen right and we really appreciate that. It gives us a lot of confidence because it makes us feel like he's working for us. Well this is our first construction project since I've been here that's been an infill neighborhood. So some of the concerns we had were about how that would affect the neighbors uh, to the east, um, the neighbors are in condos and multiple family dwellings. To the west, they're all single family dwellings. And we had a, a genuine concern about how the actual construction would affect the neighborhood. And we had a concern about um, the effects of the building in the neighborhood and how um, the site work and everything would happen. I think they've done an exceptional job of working in. We have not had one complaint about dirt on the street. We have not had one complaint about excessive noise or noise starting too soon or lasting too, too long or too late in the evening. Um, that was a huge issue with us. The second thing that we thought long and hard about is since this is the third of a prototype design, how easy would it be, since um, they're a new contractor, how easy would it be for them to build us our building? We found out that they used the other buildings, researched it, made visits to the other buildings to make absolutely sure that we got even a better product than we did on the previous two buildings. We would consider them a strong school supporter. Uh, for our foundation um, money makers, They've been very visible, they've participated, and in fact we were asked a question as the project concludes, what would we like Conlin to do for us to show the community the project? And there were a number of suggestions and uh, from uh, a, a flyer in the newspaper to providing um, a reception for the faculty and staff in the neighborhood. Uh, we haven't decided, but holy cow, um, that's really nice to have them feel like they own the project and it represents who they are. We've been really pleased at how welcome we are on the site. Mm -hmm. And we even receive invitations from the superintendent to come visit. We like to have our school board come and visit um, at various stages of the project, but since this is the third one, they pretty much know it. So we had a visit a couple of weeks ago, and um, it was more like my house is your house. And uh, the school board really enjoyed it. They really enjoyed um, the conversations with the superintendent and uh, Conlin representatives. So it was, it's, 
the whole tenor of the company, the people that Conlon employs, the um, culture is very, very friendly, very welcoming, and very easy to work with. I can't say enough about the professionalism and the attention to the detail. And again, it comes back to their focusing on what our needs are and putting together the best project to meet our needs.